Well, it's basically gum disease in cats. This is due to normally plaque and calculus from bacteria in the oral cavity of the cat causing an inflammatory response or inflammation or redness that then causes tissue destructions of the supportive structures of the teeth of the cat. So the teeth are basically lost because the bone is deteriorated and basically lost as well as the gums. It is a very painful and very serious condition that can affect the whole body as well, not just the mouth. It's bad enough that it's the mouth, but it can affect the whole body. The cause is bacteria in the mouth and also subsequent plaque accumulation on the teeth, which is that little film on the dentition that you, when you wake up in the morning, you feel your tongue on the teeth, that little slime, that is plaque. And you would brush it off, and we will talk a little bit about prevention of this in a second. But the plaque accumulates and then becomes solidified with saliva, which is around the mouth, and it's full of minerals and becomes a solid material called calculus. That actually irritates the gums, causing an inflammatory response, and the body's reaction to the inflammation there causes the supportive structures of the teeth to be lost. Signs of periodontal disease. The signs of periodontal disease, most commonly you'll see a yellow brownish material on the teeth, but the real sign of periodontal disease is red gums, red sore gums, and when touched, if they're severe enough, can actually bleed and is painful. Another thing that you will notice is bad breath. Usually that smells horrible. It smells like basically sulfur and basically is very, very foul smelling and can be say, please stay away from me and instead of wanting to embrace your pet. It is something that is very dangerous long-term and can cause lots of problems. Now, how can this disease be prevented? The most common and most effective way of prevention is plaque control. And the easiest way to do plaque control is by brushing. Brushing is by far the most important ways of plaque control, but it needs to be done daily. And it takes only about 30 seconds a day to do this. One of the things that you can do is slowly use a very small brush, such as a human uh, brush for periodontal pockets or for orthodontic uh, cleaning. And there's called a, a little traveler's proxa brush. And you just go back and forth along the sides of the gums. There are some veterinary brushes that can be used as well. And you do this once a day and it gets rid of the plaque. I say daily because if you do it once a week, you're fooling yourself if you think you're getting success. But let's be realistic. It's hard to brush a cat's teeth. And your first thing is you gotta make sure that there's no gum disease there. You wanna start this when the mouth is pain free. Because if there's pain, no cat in this world is gonna let you and tolerate you brushing its teeth because it'll be too painful. So do it with a pain-free mouth or after a good oral hygiene of about a week's time later when everything has healed. That's the best time to start. And you brush slowly back and forth on the outside of the mouth. You can use toothpaste or other products such as 1TDC and many other products on there to actually brush and cleanse the plaque off the teeth. There are other things that can be used to remove plaque and calculus, such as dental diets, dental treats that are available for cats. And they're specifically designed for cats as well. So make sure, that, you know, just because you have a dog one doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work for the cat. There are specific treats and diets for cats that are designed specifically to remove plaque and calculus. Now, once it gets too ingrained on the teeth, then you'll have to do a professional cleaning with veterinarians such as myself. And if it's really severe, you may have to go to a specialist such as myself to do this work. But this can be prevented 
and there's many ways to, and it can be easily designed and customized to meet you and your pet's needs, such as things like water additives to decrease plaque accumulation. Very simple, just put it in the drinking water, the dental diets, just for chewing and eating, or some products that can be applied in the mouth that are very palatable. All these things can be very, very effective. Talk to your veterinarian. They can customize a home care plan for your friend.